Happy October, everyone, and welcome to Master Arena. In this webisode, we're going to be talking about our brand spanking new AI system. And the easiest way for me to show you that is to just jump inside the game. So let's go. Okay, so here we are inside the custom game menu. At the bottom, you'll now notice we have a difficulty setting. Now with the difficulty setting, you can choose which preference you prefer. We can go from easy mode, medium, hard or pro level. For the first demonstration, we're going to use the easy mode. We also have an AI tab at the bottom. And if you click on this tab, it will give you some additional settings. We have personality, accuracy, alt fire ability and fire range. Under the personality setting, you can adjust each individual action for the AI, such as aggressiveness, accuracy, strafing, combat, jumpiness and so on. Now the higher the value, the more aggressive those actions will be. We can also adjust the accuracy for each individual weapon. Now as I mentioned before, the higher the value, the more accurate those robots are going to be with each individual weapon. Once you make changes, you have to check each box for those settings to take effect. Alt fire ability adjusts how much the bots use the alt fire with each weapon. The higher you set it, the more they will use the alt fire. The fire range settings determine the optimal distance close or far that the bots need to be at for each individual weapon. For our first demonstration, we're going to leave the difficulty settings on easy and the AI settings on default. And we're going to be playing the map Jewel Crozé. Straight away, on easy mode, you'll notice I'm making pretty light work of this bot. But that being said, the bot's movement is very much improved. They do go for all the items, such as the mega health that you can see right there, and they traverse the map very well. I suggest using the easy setting if you're new to Master Arena or Arena Shooters in general, as this will get you used to the movements and how all the game mechanics work. This is especially useful if you plan on playing multiplayer games online. Alright, let's up the game a little bit and let's put the difficulty setting all the way to hard and we'll leave the AI settings on default and let's see how this plays. Straight off the bat, you can tell that this bot has a lot more aggression towards me. It got the first kill on me and now it's chasing me down because it knows my health is low. I did get a kill as it's not impossible to beat them on hard mode, but bear in mind that the AI settings are still set on default. Now you can see that the bot moves around the map a lot faster and he will go for those pickups to try and deny you from getting them. He also puts up a very good fight. You can really notice the difference in its playing style. It's way more aggressive and it's using a lot more alt fire. It's switching between weapons and as soon as it notices that my health is dropping low, it charges me for that easy kill. And when the bot's health runs low, it will run away and get those health pickups. As I mentioned earlier, if you are new to Master Arena or Arena Shooters, try adjusting the difficulty settings a bit by bit. This will greatly help you build up your skill and movements, as well as your map and item placement knowledge. For the next demonstration, I'm going to play Deathmatch on DM Mars, and I'm going to put the difficulty setting up to Pro, and I'm going to leave the AI settings on Default. Under the Pro settings, the bots are going wild. They're utilizing both primary and secondary fire, using all the perks, they're traversing the map very well, they're going for all the pickups, and their strafing and jumping abilities have improved. It is a complete oil bar, and I love it. The AI settings are still set to default, so once I up those settings a bit, you will see just how much more accurate and crazy these bots are going to get.
When I switch to third person view, you can see just how aggressive these bots are. They're really going at it and they will not stop until they've destroyed all their enemies. I'm going to go a little bit crazy here and I'm going to set the difficulty to pro and I'm going to go into the AI settings and put everything to max. Let's set aggressiveness all the way to 1, accuracy to 5, strafing ability to 5, combat style to 1, jumpiness to 1, tactics to 5, reaction time to 5, minimum health desirability to 100 and enemy low health to 75. Okay, pause. I totally forgot to mention the minimum health desirability and the enemy low health value settings. The minimum health desirability is how low a bot's health should be as a minimum. For example, if you set the desirability to 75, that will force the bot to take health pickups as a priority before fighting, and it won't engage in combat until its health is back up to 75 or above. The enemy low health is the amount of HP the enemy should have before the bot charges its opponent. Let's go to weapon accuracy and let's check all the boxes to make sure the settings are active. And let's set all the weapons to 1. Now that's the maximum accuracy the weapons have at this moment in time. And when set to 1 they will have very good aim. Just make sure you do check all the boxes or they won't take effect. I'm not going to touch the alt fire settings because I want to keep that balanced and I'm not going to touch the fire range settings as I want that to stay balanced too. Let's do another deathmatch on DM Mars with pro level selected and the highest AI settings. Action really does speak louder than words and as you can see there is a lot of action going on. Their aim is spectacular, their movement is fantastic and their ability to use the perks is really really good. Now of course it's still not impossible to beat them, especially for players with a lot of arena experience, but the more you play the better you're going to get. But when you do have a server full of bots, it is pretty hard to keep up with them. No your eyes are not deceiving you, there is a bot named after yours truly, and as to be expected it's the bot with the highest skill set. No really, the highest skill set, <laughs> if only. You can really see that they all use their perks very well <laughs> and they're pretty good at combating those perks and they still get a lot of frags in and it really is such a beautiful mess. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Okay, it's CTF time, so we're going to play CTF Hyper Square on Pro Level with default AI settings. Now I find that the bots are a little bit cheeky when it comes to team games, because as soon as you start to think, alright, I'm doing really well and I have a good advantage, but no, as soon as you get to that halfway point, they're like, Oi, that's my flag mate, and you ain't getting it, so I'm gonna frag ya. And they do. I get pretty close to the enemy flag, but there's one bot defending the base, and boom, I'm down. This bot right here, the devs named after my dog Sandy. Thanks guys. So I always feel really guilty every time I shoot her, but her playing skill is really strong, so you go girl. The bots are now really good at running with a flag and you'll notice that this bot, Neutron, has taken the red flag and is taking the high ground because it knows it's the quickest and safest route. And of course that mixed with its good aim and the cover from its teammates just means the bot is going to cap and win the game.
Well, that concludes this webisode of Dev Talks. Thank you very much for watching. Now, don't forget to head down to our socials, especially our Discord, as we post a lot of content and updates on there. And please smash that subscribe button, leave us a comment, and give us a thumbs up. In the meantime, I'm going to leave you with some footage from Blutterina. Until next time, my friends, frag you later. Kill the names.